emotions running high at the Montgomery County School Board over two big issues. The investigation of a principal who is facing multiple sexual harassment allegations and the fight over allowing parents to opt out their kids from sexually inclusive materials. Our Tom Fitzgerald's in Rockville and Fitz, let's start here with the principal. What are they saying? Yeah, a lot to get to, and there was a big judge ruling tonight on the opt-out question. For starters, the board said nothing today about Dr. Joel Bielman. He's the principal who was promoted to a high school, even though he is now facing 18 sexual harassment and bullying allegations. That scandal wasn't on the board's agenda, so they neither talked about it or did anything about it today. But that did not stop parents from taking that microphone and laying into this board, not only on the reporting of those allegations, but how the board has handled them since. During the public comment meeting at the Montgomery County Public School Board of Education today, parents took to the microphone saying that they are upset over the fact that the board has moved forward with its own investigation by hiring its own private live firm, which with it's done business with before. Now, these calls come in the face of an increasing amount of public elected officials at the county level who say that the inspector general of Montgomery County should now step in and take over this principal investigation. MCPS has been sweeping things under the rug and doing the central office shuffle for years. You've put your own self-interest and a perceived elitist reputation about protecting, supporting, and believing students and staff for decades. Here's what we should be focusing on way before we talk about sexual orientation to children under 12. We cannot even get our teacher disciplinary protocol action under control. Google Farquhar Middle School. Now, meanwhile, on the opt-out debate that we've been telling you about, a big ruling came down from a judge today siding with MCPS on this. Supporters and opponents were both out here today as the board was meeting, continuing to sound off on this issue. Some parents say they object that they do not have the ability to opt out their kids from materials that they say are too sexually explicit for young children. Now, there were some congressional candidates on the Republican side in Maryland's 6th District who showed up here to sign a pledge saying they're going to stand with some of those parents. But supporters of the opt-out say that inclusive materials belong in the classroom. That they are for freedom, parental choices, and that they are for freedom of the speech of the parents. They are not here to silence the parents, but they are here to actually come in agreement and actually listen to the parents. We need many more books and not less books because young people are amazing. They're sponges and they don't have hate. Hate is learned. So again, a federal judge today ruling alongside Montgomery County Public Schools that they do have the right to block parents from opting out of sexually explicit materials in the classroom. Now, the parents group had sued to force an injunction to allow that opt out. Right now, those parents groups and their attorneys are saying they plan on appealing this. So the opt out debate is not over yet. We're live in Rockville tonight. Send it back into you.